Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding fine product recommendation pairs. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay. So question reads, we are given a table called product purchases with three different columns, user ID, product ID, and quantity. The combined columns, user ID and product ID is the unique key for this table. Each row represents a purchase of a product by a user in a specific quantity. We are also given a second table called product info with three different columns again, product ID, category, and price. Product ID being the primary key for this table and each row assigns a category and a price to the product. Okay. Amazon wants to implement the customers who bought this also bought feature based on co-purchase patterns. We are asked to write a solution to identify distinct product pairs frequently purchased together by the same customers where product 1 ID is less than product 2 ID. For each product pair, determine how many customers purchased both products. A product pair is considered for recommendation if at least three different customers have purchased both products. Return the result table ordered by customer count in descending order in case of a tie by product 1 ID in ascending order and then product 2 ID in ascending order. Okay, so kind of a lengthy question but let's go through this example which will make this more clear. So we have product purchases table, various user IDs, product IDs and the quantity they bought as well as product info. What we want is what product pairs have been at least bought by three or more different users because then those can be recommended as products which Amazon wants to suggest to the customer that hey if you bought this people also bought certain other thing. So for example if we look at product ID 101, 102 right so it has been bought by user ID 1, it has been bought by user ID 2 as well. Then if you look at user ID 3, uh, so no on user ID 3 only bought 101 but user ID 4 bought 101, 102 as well and 5 did not buy 101. So product pair 101, 102 was bought by at least 3 different people. So that should be in the output and similarly we need to find other pair as well. So if we look at our output, this is what we have 101, 102 which belongs to electronics and books categories and 3 different people bought it. Okay. So to solve this question, since in the output you also need the category which is in a different table called product info, the first thing that we can do is we can merge these two tables, basically perform a left join so that we not only have the user ID, product ID and quantity but also have the category of each of the products. If you don't prefer to do this here, you can do the entire solution and then at the end try to do it but in that case, you will have to do the join twice. Okay. So let's go ahead and try not to do that and here only perform the join. So what I'm going to do is from this table called product purchases, let's alias this as P1, perform a left join on the second table which is called product info, let's alias this as P2, let's perform the join on P1 dot product ID is equal to p2 dot product id column so p2 dot product id let us keep all the columns from p1 so p1 dot star but we are only concerned about the category column from the product info so let's do p2 dot category okay let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output okay so if we look at our output right now what we have is we have the user id product id quantity category and so on okay now, once we have this information that we have all the users, products, quantities and category at one specific place, let's save this in a common table expression and then let's move forward. So, what I'm going to do is with CTE as this entire thing goes into parentheses. Now, what do we need to do is we need to find the pairs, right? So, how can we get these pairs? we can perform a self join that is join this common table expression this output on itself using user id and product id of the first part is less than the second part because that is the combination that they are expecting us to have They'll, this will give us for every user id what are the combinations that they buy once we have the combinations then we can use those combinations to count how many different users bought them it will be more clear as I proceed forward. So what I'm going to do is let us do from this common table expression which is this 
output. Let's alias this as C1 since we need to perform our self join. So it should be always aliased. And we are going to perform either you can do left join or inner join. I am going here with inner join. So inner join CTE, but this time as a different alias C2 on C1 dot user id is equal to c2 dot user id and c1 dot product id is less than c2 dot product id so that is going to give us okay product 1 id and product 2 ids so let me do that so return me c1 dot user id then also return me c1 dot product id and alias this as what is required in our output it's called product one id right product one id so let me just copy this product one id similarly return me c2 dot product id and this should be aliased as product two id okay now if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output we also need the category but let me just you know just run this and show you what we have right now so here what we have is we have the user ids and the product id combinations that were bought by various users once you have this what you can do is you can group by the product one id and product two id and perform a count of the users so that will give you so 101 102 is being bought by user id one user id two uh, user id four so that will give you a count of three so similarly, since in our output, we also need the category part, right? If you look at this product one category and product two category, what we can do is let us also include that. So C1 dot category as let me just slide it to the left so that it's easier as product one category. And then we also need C2 dot category as product two category right okay now once we have this let me again run this so that we have all the categories and everything in one place just to verify that yeah so let me just drag it more to the left so right now what we have is we have various product combinations their categories and who all bought it now what we can do is we can group by all these four columns and perform a count of the distinct user IDs. So that is going to give us for each combinations how many different people bought it. So let me do this. Let us do group by right group by this entire all these four columns right. So let me just copy this here and we don't need the aliases in the group by. So let me just remove that so that it's easier and cleaner. So C1 dot product ID, then you have C2 dot product ID, group by C1 dot category as well. Remove this part as well as we have the C2 dot category. Okay, let me just remove this alias as well. Now, what we are going to basically do is we grouped by these, we have all these four, and we need to perform a count of the number of people who bought it. So how are we going to count? We need to count the distinct user ID. So let's remove this part here and let's perform count of, right? So count of distinct C1 dot user ID and let us alias that what is required in our output. So if you look at our output, in the output, this column is being called customer count, right? So let us copy this and paste it here and let me go ahead and run this. So let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so now if you look at our output, what do we have here is we have for each of the combinations, their categories, how many different people bought it. Okay, now the question says if I just drag it to the right and the question says that a product pair is considered for recommendation if at least three different customers have bought both products. So we need to filter based on the customer count column, right? So we need to filter based on an aggregate value because we grouped by and calculated this count. So how do you filter an aggregate value? You use having clause. So what you do is having and you need to use this count of distinct user ID. It should be at least greater than equal to three. 
ओके लेट मी गो हेड एंड रन दिस नाउ लेट सी वॉट डू वी गेट सो नाउ इफ यू से इवन दो दिस एक्सेप्टेड दिस इज नॉट कम्प्लीट गेट बट इफ यू लुक एट आर आउटपुट वॉट वी हैव इज एट लीस्ट थ्री पीपल बॉट दिस कॉम्बिनेशन सो दिस इज वॉट वी रिक्वायर बट द क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो आस अस टू ऑर्डर दिस इन अ सर्टन मैनर सो वॉट वी डू इज ऑर्डर बाई इट सेज फर्स्टली कस्टमर काउंट इन डिसेंडिंग मैनर इफ यू लुक एट दिस सो रिटर्न द रिजल्ट टेबल ऑर्डर बाई कस्टमर काउंट इन डिसेंडिंग मैनर सो लेट अस डू कस्टमर काउंट इन डिसेंडिंग मैनर एंड देन इन केस ऑफ अ टाइप प्रोडक्ट वन आई डी इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर एंड देन प्रोडक्ट टू आई डी इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर ओके आई थिंक दिस लुक्स गुड लेट मी गो हेड एंड रन दिस लेट सी वॉट डू वी गेट इन आर आउटपुट ओके so this is accepted if we look at our output and match it with the expected output that is a perfect match let me go ahead and submit to see pass all the test cases or not so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah tricky question what we basically did was firstly we since we need the category column we perform a left join between the product purchases as well as the product info table so that we have the category as well in this as a fourth column once we had that we saved that as a common table expression and then we performed a self join of the common table expression on itself so that we can get the combinations the product pairs we also got the categories each of those products belong to grouped by all the four columns and performed a count of distinct user ids who bought them and only kept those where the count was at least 3 and then we ordered by the customer count in descending order and those are the product pairs which amazon can suggest based on co purchase patterns so customers who bought this also bought certain other product so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient channel to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video